YouTube, what's going on, man? It's your boy, Booba, and welcome back to another player review on the channel. I hope you guys are having an incredible day. In today's video, we're going to go ahead and check out another Future Stars midfielder evolution. It's none other than Oliver Skip. Skip is an 89 rated card. He has medium high work rates, right footer with two star skill moves and four star weak foot. We don't see much versatility with the guard as he can only play the center defensive mid and center mid positions. If we go ahead and look at his in-game stats in a bit more detail, we can see that the card is extremely well-rounded apart from his shooting. He does have 85 pace with 90 acceleration and 81 sprint speed that's pretty decent for a midfielder but it is a bit of a pace split so to help that out man i would probably recommend the shadow chem style to make him a lot more quick in game 59 shooting not a great stat right there boys but if you do want to go ahead and play him as a center defensive man, that's not going to be that big of a problem now the 89 passing is actually a very interesting stat boys he does have 93 vision but then he does also have 99 short pass and 99 long pass that's going to be very interesting to test out in game now although the card does have 86 dribbling overall he does only have 80 agility so he might feel a tad bit clunky on the ball but the rest of his dribbling stats are very good boys 89 balance 95 reactions 89 ball control and 94 composure i think in game man he should be quite quick and swift now the 85 defending is going to be a very important stat especially if you do want to go ahead and play him as a center defensive mid he does have 88 interceptions 87 defensive awareness and 87 stand tackle i think if you go ahead and give him the shadow cam style with the intercept play style plus his defending i think he's going to be a very solid midfielder and then last but not least boys and another huge part to his game the 84 physical he does have 85 stamina which for a center mid might not be enough but if you do incorporate him as a center defensive mid i think that's pretty solid and then he does also have 81 strength and 93 aggression i think on and off the ball man he's actually going to be quite strong if we jump on over to footman boys we can see that skip does have six different play styles he has the tiki taka and intercept play style plus and then he does also have the pinged pass slide tackle bruiser and first touch so some pretty decent play styles for a midfielder and when it comes to chemistry styles boys i do think that the best option for the card is the shadow i think with the shadow chem style he's going to be very good in the midfield it's going to give him 93 pace overall with 98 acceleration and 89 sprint speed again a bit of a pace split but he should still be very quick in game and then he's also going to have 91 defending a really nice upgrade right there some of the stats man honestly 96 interceptions 91 defensive awareness and 95 stand tackle defensively should be very solid now if we go ahead and look at this little chart right here now obviously we know that oliver skip is an 89 rated card but with the shadow chem style he does become a 94 rated center defensive mid going to be very interesting to test out in game as always boys if you guys do enjoy these fc24 player reviews go ahead and do me a huge favor if you guys can leave a like on today's video and also consider subscribing to the channel if you are new it would be greatly appreciated this is the team we're going to be using in foot champions to test out the new skip card we're going to be playing them at the center mid position in the 4-3-2-1 formation so without further ado boys let's go ahead and jump into game number one and let's see how good this card really is all right boys here we are jumping into game number one using the man of the hour oliver skip we're coming up it looks like a full real madrid team that's actually pretty cool but yeah boys the plan in today's video is to go ahead and incorporate him as the central center mid in the 4-3-2-1 break up the play advance the ball forward and hopefully be a very good midfielder now if we go ahead and test out the card dribbling boys he doesn't have the craziest of agility but the rest of his dribbling stats are very good and as you guys can see man the dribbling overall isn't half bad decent left stick dribbling right there now obviously boys he's not that much of an attacking threat he does only have like 57 shooting or whatever decent attacking positioning right there it was not really a great start to the game but let's go ahead and test out the passing 99 short pass and long pass and that over-the-top through ball right there is fantastic. It's going to be a huge part to his game. Skip, little ball roll. Ooh, boys, that little turn right there was actually quite sharp. I like that. All the way. Oliver Skip, little touch. He's not going to expect it. Vasquez with a good tackle. Unlucky. Now, I will say, man, with the Shadow Chem style, there is definitely a little bit of power behind his runs. He is quite quick. Not the quickest of players, but he is quick. Decent interception right there. Oliver Skip. Take a little bit of space. Martinelli's making a run. We'll try to go over the top. Ooh, it's a decent attempt, boys. I'm pretty sure he pulled out his goalkeeper right there. Unlucky. Towards the middle. I see Sterling, man. He's made a really good run. Skip. Another great over-top through ball. Passing's been very consistent, man. Ooh, we could maybe test out a long shot. I'm pretty sure it's not great. We'll test out a Trivella. Decent attempt, boys. He doesn't have the craziest of long shots, but it was a decent attempt. Skip. Ooh, the recovery speed right there was very nice. Good in the tackle as well. We'll carry the ball forward. That's a good pass into Henri, man. The 99 short pass. We go near post. That's a lovely assist, man. We'll take that. Could maybe try to get Millard in behind. Incorporate the long range of passing again. The over top through balls, boys, have been so consistent and so good. Unlucky with that touch. Nice. Skip, man. It's a good interception. I thought we were going to have time for one more attack. Skip. Breaking up the play again, man. It's what he does best. Good pass into Martinelli as well. It's a good save by Courtois. 
I'm going to try to get Martinelli maybe in behind. Over the top through ball. Maybe a little bit too much power on it. Courtois comes out. He's actually got a touch to that, man. I don't know if he's pulling out Courtois manually. Or if that's just like the AI. Sterling, nice little flick right there. Skip, a little bit of space. Decent sprint speed and acceleration. The touch is very good as well. And with the player with like 50-something shooting, that's actually a pretty good finish as well, boys. A lot of pace behind his runs. Good finish. Let's see if we can maybe get him in behind, man. I don't think he's going to really pick up the run. Over top. Oh, it's a good tackle. Skip. Decent attacking positioning. The touch isn't great, but he does get the tackle, so we'll definitely take that. Nice, boys. We'll track back right here. Oliver. Good tackle, man. I will say, breaking up the play again. Very good at that. Millard's making a run. We'll go over the top. Four-star weak foot. The over the top through ball is great, man. If that touch was a little bit better, it would have been great. Through the middle. Look at that, boys. Look at that pass. Absolutely drilled into Thierry Henry. Could have been another assist. All right, boys. Here we are jumping into game number two. And so far, so good. He's very similar to Ugarte. We're coming up against an okay team. Veron, Henri, Holland, Salah, De Bruyne. But yeah, man. I think if you go ahead and incorporate him as a center defensive mid in your team or as a more defensive-minded center mid, he's definitely going to excel there. I think breaking up the play, advancing the ball forward, he's very good at that. His passing in game is very accurate as well. And I will say, man, the dribbling isn't half bad either. But yeah, man, in game number two, I might try to incorporate him a little bit more in the attack. A little touch. We go for a power shot. Oliver skip. It's a decent attempt, boys. You have to say my aim should have been a lot better right there. We're going to keep the pressure up. He's definitely a good player for that as well. If you like to keep pressure on your opponents. Good tackle right there, boys. Love that. Skip. Over top. Maybe could have been a little bit better. That's my bad. I should have put a lot more pace behind that. Nice. Martinelli. Good. Skip. We can carry the ball forward right here. I will say, man, a lot of power behind his runs. We could have went for another long shot right there. But an easy pass is the right choice, man. And this passing has been very good. That's another great assist. I'm low-key kind of determined to score maybe like a long shot with Skip. But we have to get him in a good area. He's like the furthest man up the pitch. That's very interesting. Good little turn. Oliver Skip will take it, boys. Decent dribbling in the box right there. I will say, though, if you get him into like pretty decent areas, you can probably convert a few chances with him as well. It's not great, but there's still that possibility. Track back, track back, track back. Nice, boys. Oliver, nice little touch around Conte. And again. And again. Ooh, boys, Oliver skip. That's nice. Decent power right there. We'll look for the cutback. Nice pass, Sterling. All the way. That's unfortunate, boys. But again, three really good touches right there. Great pace. Skip. Good tackle, man. I think we're going to trip over Henri. That's so unlucky, bro. But a good tackle. I think in game number two, man, we're getting skip a lot more on the ball, which is nice. MB May. Skip. Oh, we see Henri. It's gone to Sterling, which isn't great, man. I feel like that pass should have been a little bit better. Calm short. Oliver skip. Lots of space. Power shot. Why not? <laughs> Van Dyke has literally just chested it. Skip. A little step over. Decent acceleration, man. I feel like a lot of people don't really expect him to take that touch. Good cutback as well. It's a lovely assist. I think if you go ahead and play him in a midfield three, so like the 4-3-2-1 where you do have three center mids, I think that's probably where he excels. I think he just brings a lot more balance to the team. He does have that defensive cover. And then going forward in some situations has been pretty good. Skip, man. Good pressure right there again. That's a vital touch. We could look for the cutback. Left stick dribbling. Oh, 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 boys, I don't like the way that he tried to turn right there. Because I think my opponent's going to play a little bit of like a higher line in the second half. I'm going to try to go for a lot more over the top through balls. Skip again, man. What a ball. Great pass into Thierry Henry. Trivella. Good finish, man. And that's another great assist. Skip. Should get to that. Nice, man. Good recovery speed. Keeps the ball in play as well and releases the pass. Great. Again, boys. The intercept play style plus. I mean, he just protects the defensive line so well. Definitely reminds me a lot of Ugarte. We'll take the free kick as well. All right here, we'll just look for maybe like an interception. Track back. We won't move the defensive line. Skip, man. Again, another vital interception. I'm not going to lie, man. As a central center mid, I'm really enjoying using him. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That is us using the new Future Stars midfielder Evolution Skip in a few games of Foot Champions. And to be completely honest, man, for 25 games, it is a bit of a grind, but he is a pretty solid player in-game. Now, if we go ahead and dissect his in-game stats in a bit more detail, the 85 pace with the shadow, he does have 98 acceleration and 89 sprint speed. And for the most part, man, he was quite quick in-game. His acceleration is a lot better compared to his sprint speed. When you take that touch to, like, get away from a defender, it is very good. 59 shooting 
shooting not the greatest of stats but we were able to score a few goals with him which was definitely nice to see 89 passing a huge part to his game and for the most part man his passing was very accurate in game the short pass long pass over the top through balls all very nice now although the card does have 86 dribbling overall the 80 agility does kind of like kill the left stick dribbling just a tad bit now he isn't clunky on the ball but he's definitely not the most quick and swift player i've ever used so definitely keep that in mind 85 defending a phenomenal stat with the shadow chem style and him also having the intercept play style plus man in front of that defensive line he is very good he breaks up the play really well with his interceptions and then also with his stand tackle and overall man it's just a very good cover for the defense and then last but not least boys 84 physical another huge part to his game the 85 stamina was okay towards the end of the game he was a bit tired but we were making a lot of runs with him and then the 81 strength and 93 aggression for the most part man he was quite strong on and off the ball i do think that the aggression makes up for the little lack in strength now as you guys know we did to go ahead and do a player review on adli and then also ugarte now adli is a lot better if you want to go ahead and use him as a more advanced center mid i think going forward if you need like a center attacking mid or center forward that's probably the position that adli suits best if we had to compare skip and ugarte two players that are very similar in my opinion you definitely just want to go ahead and incorporate them in your team and as like a player that breaks up the play advances the ball forward and in my personal opinion i do think that ugarte is just a tad bit better overall but again boys both cards are really solid and both of them kind of like bring the same thing to your team they break up the play advance the ball forward if you do need a very defensive minded center mid or center defensive mid they do that job really well but overall boys a really solid card mr oliver skipman i really like the short pass the dribbling isn't half bad and then the defending and physicality is quite good if you do have the time to go ahead and complete 25 games of squad battles division rivals or foot champions i would recommend but that is going to be the end of today's video boys if you guys did enjoy it let me know by leaving a like comment down below what player you guys would like to see next in another player review and then also consider subscribing to the channel if you are new it would be greatly appreciated thank you guys so much for watching thank you guys so much for clicking on today's video i've been your boy bullbound i'll catch you guys in another one very very soon peace